How to download Apex Legends on PC is the topic of today's video. Welcome to the Tutorial Tucker channel. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit the subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers and then go and leave a like. And once you've done that, let's go and continue into this video. So essentially today I'm showing you how to go and let download Apex Legends and install it. It's a super, super easy tutorial and I go all the steps you're gonna need to know as some of these games aren't as straightforward as you think. They're not just on the Steam store, you have to go and download other launchers. But yeah, I cover that all in today's video. Without any further ado, let's jump into this. So let's jump into the tutorial part of getting Apex Legends. So unfortunately, we can't just go and get it on Steam. Um, it's on its own game store. I'll be showing you the how to get and how to use, which is super, super straightforward. So what you want to do is come to Google, and all you need to do is search for Origin. So Origin is like a game store similar to Steam, um, but Origin are their own developers. So all we do is click origin here and now we're going to be taken to this page here. So take a minute to load, just click agree and I'll click save. I'm in the UK. So as you can see, we've got all these games here. So you can click browse games, all PC games. You've got Apex Legends, FIFA, Star Wars, loads and loads of games. And obviously we're going to go for Apex. But to do this, we need to go and register first or sign in if you've got an account. So personally, I don't already have an account at the minute. So that does mean I have to register and make an account. So I'm going to click down and click register and wait for this to load and then I'm gonna go and fill this information in um, just like so and uh, yeah we'll just make an account now I think you'll have to come up with a username as well so come up with something you like because that will be your username inside of games as you can see public ID um, so I'm gonna fill all this information in here email password public ID and last name and stuff like that and then I'll get back to you so I'm now going to click next and we'll go here. So as you can see, we've now got to add a security question and just some privacy settings as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go fill this in right now and then I'll update you once I've done this. And then all I'm going to do is click create account and then we're going to be here. And as you can see, I need to go and get a verification code. So I'll show you how to do that. So what we need to do is come up to email. So I've got a shortcut here and actually mine went behind the screen. So just quickly note that it may glitch out. We might just go behind your other, your other window. So to get that back, I'll just make this full screen again. All you need to do is come down here to your Chrome and then you can go and select it here like so. And it's now back on top. So now I'm going to paste my verification code and click continue. And as you can see, I've now verified my email. So then all we do is click get started and we'll see what happens next. So it's now back here and it's now logged me in automatically. As you can see, Tutorial Tucker. And you can see all the games which are available once you have Origin. As you can see, there are so many. But the next step we need to do is go and get the download by clicking here. So all I do is click download and as you can see we've now got the, these different options. So we've got get the latest version of Origin, download the Origin client, and so we've got Windows and Mac here. So obviously this tutorial works on both. I'm on Windows so I'm going to click down here and then we're going to get a download just starting down here. So as you can see that's 50 megabytes. Just quickly note that is just the client so the sort of the store for you to access games on. So I'll quickly wait for it to download and I'll quickly run you through the installation process. Um, so it's now finishing off. Now quickly when I open this, probably going to get a Windows security pop up. Um, it'll take a minute to load. Okay, so I actually just had an issue where it wasn't appearing. Now if you have this issue like I did, all you need to do is come down here, find it in your downloads folder like mine is here, right click on it and you'll get this option to run as administrator and that seems to make it appear and then you'll have a Windows security pop up. So that, that's a quick way to bypass the issue if when you click on it, it isn't appearing. Um, I'm not sure why, but that's why I got around it anyway. And yeah, so as you can see, I've now got this up here and you can click install origin and we can get started. So I'm gonna click there. And as you can see, you get all these options here. So personally, uh, I don't want these per all these on personally. And then I'm gonna change the um, install location as well. And then make sure you've read the end user license agreement. And I'm gonna click, I've read of accepted and click continue. And then as you can see, it's now installing the latest version of Origin. Now this isn't actually Apex Legends yet because this is just the browser and the client basically, like I've said before. And um, so you've already got to wait for this green bar to get across, but it doesn't take too long at all. And this will allow you to access all the other games which are listed on the store as well. So all of these games here, you can have access to with this. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. Um, but obviously Apex Legends is free and we'll just wait for it to install. Also, I just quickly had another Windows security pop up just saying if it's safe to install it, I clicked yes 
and uh, yeah that's what you have to do but anyway here are the stats um, and the requirements you need just to in install the client but of course that isn't necessarily relating to the games um, but yeah right so that's now disappeared as you can see it just went and there'll probably be another pop up in a minute so just continue to wait and now this box has just appeared and it's literally just started loading so I'll continue to wait for what this says and then we can go and continue so as you can see we've now got to sign in so I'm going to go and enter my email and password and then we can go to the next step but once you've installed this then enter the password you made originally for your account so then that'll be able to do that and then I'm gonna go and click um, keep me signed in and yeah I'll have that um, unticked I don't need to sign is invisible so I'm click sign in and as you can see that's now disappeared again and we're gonna be getting the proper store hopefully now and we can go and start the process so as you can see origin client has now opened up and it's just loading everything I'll click agree and click save I'm in the UK so if you're in the US you could scroll down and see the other options so I'm going to click save and as you can see UK I'm going to click agree and now we've got these options here so I'm going to go and find the game I want which is obviously Apex Legends so I'll quickly wait as you can see I've got all these games here and I'll scroll through till I find the one I would like and I've just found Apex Legends there are quite a few so to do this I actually went up here and simply went um, alphabetical because if you have mo most popular there are so many popular games on here it will take a while to find them so I'll just set that as alphabetical and I'll scroll back down and find it a minute uh, it was just around here here it is so I'm now got here and you so I'm gonna come and click on it here and as you can see it's just loading the page you can watch the trailer and you get a bit of information about it but all I'm gonna do is click add to library and it'll take a minute to, as you can see, it's just starting to circle and then we'll go to the next step. And then this has appeared, as you can see, it says add it to your library, download with origin. So I'm gonna go and click download of origin and now it's gonna start the download. So as you can see, uh, English US, I I'm just gonna go for that for now. You click accept and as you can see, it's now installing. Personally, I'm going to change this because like I said before, I personally have it on my hard drive and not my SSD. So I'm gonna quickly change that. And that's it. And then you can choose if you want it to be on your desktop as a shortcut or a start menu. So I'm gonna have, personally, I don't want either of them. And this is the size. So it's 28 gig to download. So it will take quite a while. And after it's installed, it's gonna be 44. So then we'll do is click next. And as you can see, you'll need to install these as well to be able to run Apex Legends. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna click agree and it will install these at the at, at the end as well. And as you can see, it's now downloading and it's actually playable at 44%. So that means you'll need to download what about 14 gigs and it tells you the, the download speed and how long it's gonna take. So after that, you should now hopefully have Apex Legends playing on your computer and you go and hop into some games, play it with your friends, maybe even record some YouTube videos with it. But I hope you found it useful. It took me a while to record and go through all the steps and edit. So I really do appreciate any support you leave on this video just by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. It does mean a lot and there's a lot more content just like this coming very, very soon. So keep subscribing, keep leaving likes. I really do appreciate it. And if there's any issues you, ha you have, please go and leave a comment below. Myself or I'm sure other people try and help you out. And yeah, I hope to catch you in the next one. Have an awesome day. Peace.